we have some news that could potentially be huge. But the reason why I have a feeling it may not be huge because this was published two days ago and I heard nothing of it. Now, maybe that's because my brand new podcast was unveiled on YouTube as well as Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash tech down, which I know everybody's going to go follow because it's in the link, uh, the link in my pinned comment and my description. And that's the best way to interact with me. The question asked me, but the thing is here, it says Honkai Star Rail teases next world new characters i have heard absolutely nothing about this and it's on game rant so you know it's full of shit but i guess we'll deep dive this article and maybe just maybe we'll find a semblance of something that is even remotely true let's let's read this here real quick the interview reveals the next world players revisit in honkai star rail is called penacone rumored to be themed around 19th century france you know what i really don't like france not because i have anything against the french but because of paris syndrome where People their entire lives romanticize Paris so much. And then they go there and they have like a crisis because it's garbage compared to what they thought that it was. Wait. Wait, France is in Italy? I thought Paris was in France. Are you sure? Wait, what are you talking about? Wait, I'm, my brain hurts. France is in Italy? Wait, is it really? I don't think so. Right? Wait, my head hurts. Paris is in France and France is in Italy? Wait, no, there's no... Wait, there's no way. Wait, hold up. Is Paris in Italy? Why are you lying? No, Paris is not in Italy. Why are you lying? Why are y'all lying, bro? You made me have a crisis, bro. My brain hurt for a second. Y'all made my brain hurt. What you doing, man? Jesus Christ, you gonna give me an aneurysm, man. What are you doing? The game's future content could feature more crossovers with Honkai Impact 3rd. With hints that characters like Yai Sakura and Raiden May may appear in future updates. What in the f is blood waffling about? What do you mean by that? No shot. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me that these two bad bitches might be coming to Honkai Star Rail, because if so, I'll say it. I'll I'll lose my mind. I will lose, but I will lose my mother mind, bro. Yai Sakura and Raiden May are so hot, it's ridiculous. And if they're lesbian, what do you want me to do, man? Their boobs are enormous. Like, what do you want me to do, man? They're 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 they're, they're anime characters. Relax, okay? They're they're so. F what do you want me to do? All right, Hoyoverse, the developer behind Honkai Star Wars, has a busy year ahead of the major updates for its popular games, including the launch of Genshin Impact's fifth major region and the second part of Honkai Impact's third story. Oh my god. First of all, what is the trailblazer looking at? Second of all, why does March have brown hair here? Okay, uh, bro, I am so confused. Why won't Honkai Impact third just end? Why is it still going on? Like, am I nuts? It's been, dude, dude, just wrap it up. Wrap it up, call it a day, focus on Honkai Star Rail, and f***ing Genshin, man. Because it's a main game. It has six more years. What? Dude, then why don't they just HD remake it? That way people actually go and play the game. Because right now, it's so it's so f dated, brother. Like, it it's so dated, they should just HD remake the game. They are? Well, then, okay. I would like to retract my previous, my previous point. And say, A, Honka and Back Third, I cannot wait to play your new game. Remake teaser? There's a teaser? Well, shit. I guess I'll have to watch that later. Good God, we got a lot of shit to go through. A recent interview from Honkai Star Rail staff has revealed both the next world and the next world the Astral Express will travel to. Along with teasing future characters, the launch of the massively popular sci-fi RPG from Hoyoverse brought with it multiple worlds for players to explore with its debut. The game launched with two full worlds in Yarilo 6, Yarilo 4, and the Zhangzhou Lofu, as well as sprawling Heard, oh, sprawling herd of space station filled with enemies, treasure, and missions to discover. Now the fans of RPG are going to the first video when the adventure will take them next. Now, here's the thing. If I'm going to have to wait till next year, like mid next year to play this, the game is absolutely Because like the amount of development time that Honkai Star Rail should take when compared to Genshin is significantly less. We should be getting two worlds a year minimum. That is a absolute fact. Okay, so this bullshit, yo. How do you expect a gacha game to end? Many people spend hundreds of dollars and are attached to their character. You know how this goes. 
Yeah, but that's not my problem, so it is what it is. You know what I mean? You know how Summoner's War ended? I quit the game. That's the re that's the real end game of Genshin, guys. You quit the game, okay? That's what everybody's working towards. No, we need we need two new worlds a year minimum because they take so much less time to develop. It is ridiculous okay i mean it's the truth you know, that's the truth now we don't need fully developed worlds but we do need little bits and pieces and we get to unlock them slowly bit by bit patch by patch with new story with new main story quests coming out at least once an update i really don't think that's much to ask i really don't or at least just new quests for companions all that jazz right i, I feel like we should be expecting significant updates for this game because it is so much less development time than genshin and with honkai star Wars making more profits near rivaling profits to uh Genshin. even as the game goes down uh the profits are even more than more than enough to justify the manpower that it will take to develop these type of games and remember guys okay gotcha corporations they're not your friends okay they're not your friends they don't know you they don't care they're designed to make money and they make a lot which means we should be asking a lot from the gotcha games okay we should we really should you should always be using your voice to say that we need more because it is the truth for how much they make we should be expecting sky's the limit to be honest okay and that's not a spoiled take that is just the goddamn truth but they said what did they say mahoyo's my friend well clearly not because they changed their handle to hoyo verse and they didn't even tell you buddy okay while hunk Guys, Star Wars only currently features two worlds. Several other future locations have been teased in game dialogue and lore. Silver Wars dialogue refers to her as hailing from the cyberpunk themed world of Punk Lord, while in game dialogue has referenced worlds like Pentaconi and Salsado, among others. Each world is also said to have one Honkai Star Wars Aeon as their primary deity, representing the game's pr different paths. Now, a new interview is hinted at the world the next world players will visit, teasing future party members to come. Now, I have heard nothing of this. I've heard nothing of of this. An interview from Honkai Star Wars development team with Japanese gaming magazine Famitsu has recently revealed several details about the game's future content. The interview confirms that Penakani would be the world's uh, will be the next world players will visit, a world rumored to be the themed around 19th century France and worshiping the Harmony Aeon Zipe. Ooh, interesting. While few details were given about what the world would contain, Penaconi was the original destination of the Astral Express before the game story took players to the Jean Jo Lo Fu. Is that true? I actually don't remember that. Meaning that if we go to the Harmony area, that most likely means that we're going to be getting the Harmony Trailblazer. Ooh. What the f Zipe HSR. Oh my god, we have to beat her? But she's so f hot. Dude, I love how every main bad guy is just some big, sexy woman, bro. God damn, I love that shit. Wait, there's even more. The interview also touches on more crossovers with another of Hoyoverse's flagship titles in Honkai Impact 3rd. Hoyoverse would acknowledge wealth as the only character to directly cross over Honkai Impact 3rd for the time being. However, the developer hinted that more would be coming in the future. Leaks have suggested several characters from Honkai Back 3, including Yai Sakura and Raiden May, may fear future updates. Star Rail also already has features several characters be bearing striking similarities to Honkai Back 3 cast members, including Bronya and Zila, among others. Hoyver's reveals about Honkai Star Rail come as the most recent in the plethora of uh, major events across many popular games. Genshin Impact is quickly approaching the launch of his game's fifth major region, the France themed Fontaine which is set to launch next month. How close until Fontaine, guys? Because we're going to have to play it for a little bit. Okay, we're going to have to play it. How, how much longer until the Fontaine live stream? How much longer until that game? Like, when, when is the live stream for Fontaine? Next week? Three weeks. Two week until live stream? I don't play anymore, but it's soon, yeah. This new world's theme actually fits with the leaked 1.4 characters Argenti now. Is Fontaine a good spot for someone to pick up Genshin for the first time? Dude, you can pick up Genshin at any time, and you can actually experience uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of story. But just, like, don't, like, don't like the combat, because you won't be doing that too much. But you can play it for the story. And, uh, yeah, just go ahead and skip whenever an NPC talks. Okay. Hong Game Back 3rd has also recently hinted the second part of Game Story launching early next year with major new updates across all of its games. Hoyoverse is setting itself up for a busy 2023 and 2024. Well, if the developers are already hinting a new world, then I highly doubt that we're going to have to wait until next year for it to come out. That's just my opinion. I have a hot take. I think we're getting a new world in 1.4. But that's just me. Or latest 1.5.
That is just me. You can say I'm wrong. That's okay. But I really don't think we're going to be out the waiting. I really don't think we have to wait that long. There's there's no way we're staying on the Zhanzhou low fu for a year, right? There is no way. I would quit if it takes a year. Yeah, a lot of people would, man. A lot of people would. There, there's just no way. And if it is, well, Wuthering Waves and Zenless Zone Zero got to be coming out soon, right? And hey, I'll say it, guys. I'm going to play Girls Frontline 2. I'll say it. Girls Frontline 2 looks good as f It looks good as f you know it, I know it, we all know it. That game looks fun as hell. That being said, this article instills me with a lot of hope. But how much of it is true? I don't know, but it says it's from an interview. We'll have to see. Yai Sakura and Raina May coming to HSR would be f crazy. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see.